Chapter 2, Section 2.8, Objectives. We're going to change between scientific notation and expanded form while keeping significant figures intact. So make sure we understand how many sig figs there are in a number. For example, this number has three significant figures from the 1 to the 0 with a line over it. This number has four significant figures. This number has three significant figures. This number has one significant figure. This number has three because leading zeros are never significant. And this number has five. The basic structure of scientific notation consists of two parts. We have the front, which is in front of the times 10. This part is called the mantissa, though in this course, I prefer to call this the coefficient. Technically, however, it's called the mantissa, but we're going to call it the coefficient. Then we have times 10 and an exponent. And the exponent is going to let us know how large or small the number is. The exponent can be a positive value, which means it's a large number greater than 1, or it can be a negative value, which makes it a small number less than 1. Your mantissa, or coefficient, should always be between 1 and 9.9 .9 repeating. In other words, it should never be 10 or greater. The number should end up being between 1 and 9.9. .9. Technically, it could be greater than 10, but we want to keep it between 1 and 9.9. .9. So here's two examples. The first one, you want to underline what the significant figures are, and this one has one sig fig, the 3. So now I'm going to write 3 times 10, and then this is a large number, so my exponent will be positive. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The decimal is now here, so this will be an 8 meters per second. Remember, your decimal is understood to be here, even though it's not written there. The sig figs in the second example are 8, 7, and 2. And so we're going to write 8.72 times 10. And then because this is a number smaller than 1, we're going to have a negative exponent. And then we count, move the decimal to the 8. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 8.72 times 10 to the negative 6 picometers. A few more examples. First, identify the number of significant figures. So this number has three of them. So we'll write 1.00 times 10 to the 5. Second example has two sig figs, so 2.5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three sig figs here, so it's 2.00 times 10 to the, and we move one space. This has five sig figs, so 1.2356 times 10 to the, and we move the decimal, 1, 2, 3. This has one sig fig, so 4 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This has three sig figs, so we're going to have 3.50 times 10 to the negative, and we'll move it 1, 2, 3. This has five sig figs, so we're going to write 2.0300 times 10 to the negative, and we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have two numbers here, 2.5 times 10 to the negative, and we go 1, 2. From the 7 to the 6 is significant, so we'll have 7.0896 times 10 to the, the decimal is understood to be here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The reverse, we're going to notice that this is a negative 2, which means I want to move my decimal two spaces to the left. And so this is where our new decimal is. We fill in with zeros. So we're going to have 0 0.04300. Notice that we have four significant figures before and four significant figures after. Keep your significant figures intact. Here's a positive 3, so we're going to move to the right, 1, 2, 3, fill in with zeros, so that's basically a 1,000. But notice we have two sig figs here to start, 
So I need a line over that zero to have two sig figs in my final answer. We're going to move positive four, so four to the right. One, two, three, four. So this will be eight, seven, six, five, five point four. Finally, five spaces to the right. One, two, three, four, five. We fill in with zeros, so one, two, three, four, five. And three sig figs to begin with, three sig figs to end with. All of these are significant, and they are all still present afterwards. Always keep your sig figs intact.